What's up everybody and welcome to another In Herbie's World. And today we're going to be looking over some markers. As a matter of fact, we're going to be looking over plenty of markers from the Faber-Castell series. Particularly, we're going to be looking at these markers right here. These are skin tone colors for the Faber-Castell series. These are called the Six Pit Artist Pen Brushes. Or are they called brushes? Yeah, okay. I see like these little things on it. I wasn't sure if they were like a letter or an S or I'm just really stupid. I'm not sure. <laughs> But yeah, we're gonna be using these and it looks like there's a bunch of cool like colors for this one So yeah, I can't wait to use these and we're also gonna be testing out The grayscale markers as you can see I've had these for the longest time I haven't even tested them out yet and they don't have names on them So I basically just eyeball the colors to see from lighter to oh, I got it wrong. Okay, there we go and uh, There we go. All right, there we go. Now. I have it right <laughs> from lightest to darkest so we're gonna test these out, but first we're gonna test out the skin tone color ones. But also I want to say that everything that we're gonna be using today is gonna be Faber-Castell related from the pencils, the white pencils, and even the liners and the brushes. The only thing that's gonna be different is gonna be the colorless blender. And once again, we're gonna be using the Blick Studio Marker Blender because this is very reliable. The ink is very awesome, so I really like this one. And just in case, we're gonna be using a kneaded eraser because again, I got the Fiber Castell pencils, as you can see right here. This is a pretty good one. This is a BH, or I think this is a, ooh, not BH, I meant a 2B. Not, I'm an idiot, guys. <laughs> All right, and I also got this big brush right here. This is a big white Faber Castell pen. It's actually pretty cool. It has like a brush nib. I don't know if you can see it. If you can't, I'll up close it once I get started with the art piece and showing the swatch for all the colors. So yeah, let's get started, guys. All right, guys, so now we're gonna be doing an up close of each single item just in case you guys wanna go out and buy it. All right, so the first item we're gonna be looking at is one of the Skin Tone Favor Castells pens. Let me see if you can see it right there. There you go. And I think this has cinnamon right here. This is one of the darker colors right here. So the next one we're gonna select is, let's see which one this one is. All right, if I can get it focused, there you go, right there. And it says medium skin. This is actually a pretty cool color. I like that one, that one's really close to skin tone colors. These ones are more for like rosy colors. So there we go, there goes another medium flesh. What was the other one, medium skin, this one's medium flesh. So this one's gonna be for, like I said, the rosier colors. And the next one's gonna be Right here, Faber Castell again. Ivory, cool. And that said, um, 10, 103. I'm not sure if that means anything. There might be a darker color to the, um, what is it? The ivory, I'm not sure. <laughs> All right, let's go look at the next one. And the next one, we could focus it right there. There we go, light skin. This one's a really good color too. And the last one, probably gonna be one of the dark colors. Let's see, we can focus it and it says, light flesh. So we're going to put this one next to the medium flesh. And now we're going to look at the one of the thicker markers and this is the Faber-Castell Pit Marker Pen White. And this is 101. I guess that's just the number. And like I said before, it has like a brush pen or brush tip I meant. And look, you can tell that I've been using this on marker. Oh crap. <laughs> Why did I do that? <laughs> but yeah, I've been using it on like um, certain parts to highlight and I think I've accidentally touched it on some other ink parts. So if you're using ink, wait till it dries up and then use this or just try to avoid the ink altogether. And now the next ones we're gonna be looking at are the grayscale markers. And I don't think there's any names to these, but I'll show you the pens anyways. They're gonna be from the lightest, which is this one right here. And as you can tell, they're really old. The, le the letters on this used to be white, but look at what color they are. See, they have no name on it. So it's this one. This one right here, which is the darker one. Now that we got an even darker one. See, it's getting really dark and super dark. Look at that. And then it gets really dark. Oh my goodness. And then it gets super dark. It's just black. <laughs> it's just a black marker. And all of these have the brush nib on it. As you can tell, really fine. And I really love these markers because of that really fine brush tip. And as I showed you before, I do have the pencils from Faber-Castell right here. The 2B looks really cool. And I also have the white. I use this one for most of my art for highlighting. 
these pencils are amazing guys kneaded eraser it doesn't matter i don't think this is fiber castell i think this is just a kneaded eraser you could even make like a, a shoe or something like that let's see and there goes my shoe <laughs> and now we're gonna be going into some extras and these extras are gonna be the what is this i think this is a fine point or i think this is might be like a bullet tip yeah this is the bullet tip one this one's pretty good for lining the next one's gonna be the short. So the short is definitely gonna be a liner because it's really short. That's why it says S on it. Let me see right there. And then the last one is medium. And I think the medium is also a bullet tip. Yep, it is a thicker bullet tip. All of these came with this weird eraser thing. If you can see it right there, it doesn't even erase the ink. So I'm not sure what that thing does. And if you guys know what it does, let me know in the comment section. And the last item I'm gonna show is gonna be the blender. And as I said, I'm using the Blick Studio Blender because this blender works wonders. It does have a chisel tip and it also has the brush nib. Very nice. All right, so now let's go with our swatch. And the first one we're gonna be using is the ivory. And the ivory is the lightest one. So we're gonna just do a little box right here. You guys might not be able to see it because it's the lightest color. There we go. Make a box right there. If you can barely see it, that's all right. Like I said, it's the lightest color. And we're gonna go ahead and line it out. Oops. Oh, I guess this marker is done. <laughs> I took it out and it's a dead marker. I'm a moron, guys. All right, let's see if this one actually works. All right, there we go. There was a box right there. And this will be ivory. There we go right there. Now we're gonna do a second box. Maybe we should do the box first before we do anything. All right there. And the next one is gonna be a light skin. Let's see how light skin does. Light skin is a very pinkish color. So if you draw on a pig or a fat kid, use this one. <laughs> I hope the fat kids don't get offended. I'm sorry guys. All right, there we go. Another light color. You can barely see this one. There we go. And this one. Again, let's go ahead and see what that one is. Light skin. So let's keep that one marker out and put light skin right here. Light skin. There you go. All right, new box right on top of this one. There we go. And the next one is gonna be medium skin. And this one's definitely gonna be a darker color. Almost like an orange. This one's good to go if you're gonna blend on top of the lighter skin one. There we go. All right. These skin tone colors look really good. Oh, wait, hold on. We gotta do this one right here. Medium skin. All right. Now next box, right on top of that one. All right. And the next one is gonna be light flesh. All right. Let's see what color this one is. Ooh, this one's a pretty one. Like let's say if you're drawing like Hispanic skin, like a Puerto Rican or Mexican, or even um, let's say African American skin, then you, yeah, use this one. This one's really beautiful. I like this one. It's like a honey color. And there we go. That's a really nice color. I really like that one. All right. So we're gonna put that one light flesh. Alrighty, light flesh. And we're gonna go down the pyramid. And we're gonna go to what the next one is. I think it's cinnamon, if I could remember correctly. Yes, it is cinnamon. Cinnamon, and this one again, will combine very beautifully with the last color for the African Americans colors and the uh, Mexican skin, or in my situation, like me, Puerto Rican and Guatemalan. <laughs> so yeah there we go and this one is cinnamon let's see if i can spell cinnamon if i can't i'm a moron i'm pretty sure i don't there, cinnamon. there we go i think i spelled it wrong but who cares <laughs> all right and the last color is gonna be medium flesh all right so let's do a box down that pyramid all righty and join that last color Ooh, this one should have been not one of the last ones. This one should have been a little bit more where medium skin is. 
Yeah, definitely where medium skin is. There you go. Ooh, beautiful color, medium, medium skin. You like that one? All right, let's do a medium, right here, medium. <laughs> medium skin. Actually, no, that wasn't medium skin, that was medium flesh, sorry guys. Medium flesh, I'm confusing everyone now. All right, there we go. Now we're done with these. Now we're gonna do the grayscale ones, and hopefully I don't confuse everyone because I'm gonna start doing it up here and go around like a colorful rainbow that doesn't have any color whatsoever, just black and white. <laughs> all right, so what we're gonna do is gonna box in all these right here. Sweet. Ah! All right, those can fit in somewhere else. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna start the first one right here. And this one we'll just number at number one for the lightest one. I'm hoping that these markers still work. They probably don't because I've had these for so long. But this is the lightest one, guys. So if you don't see it, that's fine. It's the lightest one. There we go. Definitely nothing is coming out of this pen. I'm not sure if it ran out of ink or if that was just that it was really light. <laughs> we'll see on the next one. If the next one doesn't draw, then I'm gonna have to stop the test with the gray ones. <laughs> All right, so the next one's gonna be number two. And number two is gonna be a darker gray. Oh, they still work. There we go. For a slightly darker gray, this is really gray. All right, that's number two. Now we're gonna draw another box. It's gonna be number three. Number three. Oops, forgot to put number three. Number three. <laughs> All right, number three. Let's see how dark this one is. Not that much darker, to be honest. I can't really tell. Can you guys tell? Oh, okay, maybe I can see it from the viewfinder better. All right, and right next to this box, we'll put number four. Number four, let's see how dark you get. It's super dark. Oh yeah, that's super dark. You know what? This gray number four looks more like a warm gray than a cool gray. The last three look like a cool gray. This one definitely looks like a warmer color. It probably is. So number four is definitely a warm gray. Now we're gonna go to number five. We're gonna put that right here. Numero cinco. Let's see, right here. Oh my goodness, that's dark. Okay, so number four is the only one that looked like it was a cool color, or not a cool color, a warm color. Cause number five went back to looking like a cool gray. There you go. That was number five. Number six, I think will not matter because number six is black. <laughs> so it's not a gray whatsoever, it's just pitch black, as you can see. Oh my goodness, but the ink and these markers are amazing because they're India ink. I just love India ink, so nice. Look at that. Okay, so you can definitely tell the difference. Look at number one, was really light. Two, lighter, or not lighter, I meant darker. Three, darker. Four was the only warm color, so maybe I should put that down. Do you guys get that? That number four is gonna be a warmer color. Right there, number five is definitely a dark color, very close to black, and number six obviously is black, straight jet black, which is a pretty nice color if you're gonna do inking for your comic books or whatever. Okay, right, so one test I do wanna do, I wanna take my white Faber-Castell pen, and I'm gonna try to do something right here on the black area, see if I can get some of that white. So I'm gonna up close it to that area and see what happens. All right, so I up close it enough so I can still like perform my duties to show you guys without knocking over my camera. <laughs> so let's see if it'll work on this jet black. I'm gonna tell you guys right now, it might not work. So let's see what happens. All right, it doesn't work too much but it does lighten the black up some. You just have to go over and over it. So this is what, it, was, it will be really good for detailing, especially if you wanna put some sort of light onto your dark black. It'll definitely work really good. 
There we go. Yeah, so it does work out some. It really looks good. Let's see if we can use our finger to spread that out some. Oh, it just got rid of it. <laughs> On my viewfinder, it looks really good though. All right, let's put some more in. It's like you gotta tap it in really. Just tap it in, just tap it in. There we go, it works. That's pretty good. Uh, but once you finish using it, you gotta take off that black stuff. So just like, do this. Oops, you guys can't see what I'm doing. Do this. <laughs> you gotta get rid of that black. Or else you'll mess up your marker like I did just now. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll do this later. <laughs> So that was pretty much the swatch on the skin colors and the grays and I gotta say they look pretty good. The only thing that's bad about this ink is that it's really wet. It's like a really wet like ink and I'm not sure how to explain it but like when you put it on your paper it tends to like wet the paper a lot to the point where the fabric starts to become it starts coming off basically. It's not with all paper like let's say with this paper that I'm using right now it might not do it that much because it's a heavy board paper, Bristol. But like, let's say if you're using like copy paper, that that paper will get ruined. Like do not use Faber, Faber Castell pens on copy paper. It will just soak it and ruin your house. <laughs> yeah, it'll, it'll just ruin your paper, probably ruin your carpet and it'll be terrible. So the test that we're gonna be doing now, or not really a test, we're gonna be just be doing a caricature and we're gonna be using the pens afterwards. Cause the blend test I will be doing in a different video in my series called Does It Blend? I'll be doing that and I'll probably have that next Friday for you guys. So for now, I'm just gonna draw a little cartoon and see how well the markers do. See, look right there. <laughs> if you hit the colorless blender on any black, you're gonna mess up. And I messed up right there. So I only use the skin tone colors basically for my machine-like human's face. <laughs> and with these markers, you definitely need to use the colorless blender because they will not blend no matter what you do when you put them together. They are just gonna basically just overlap each other and not really blend together. So with the colorless blender, you hit it up slightly, try not to hit the black like I did, and it will come out perfectly. Like let's say, let's do this right now. Let's say if I were to do it right here, I'm gonna draw this right here just like so. And then after that, on the top, I'm gonna do the same thing. And then after that, I'm gonna bring it down. And see, it just put, kind of pushes it or overlaps it. And that's how you bring the other one, doesn't do much of anything. So what you wanna do, is you wanna bring the colorless blender into the action and it will just blend all the colors together. And it looks wonderful, it looks really nice. So yeah, remember, use the colorless blender if you're gonna use the skin tone markers or any sort of Faber-Castell pens. So now let's continue with the drawing. <laughs> And now that I've done that, let's see what happens when I blend it together. I'm not sure how this is gonna turn out. Let's see what happens, guys. Yeah, not bad, not bad, guys. Looks really good. I like it, actually. Really nice. 
There we go. Do the same thing on this side. And a little bit right here, here, on the finger. And up on the helmet area. And work our way that way. Alrighty. Wow, that ended up good. I actually like the way the markers look like. I'm telling you, with a colorless blender, the markers work amazing with blending. But remember, I'm gonna do a blending test on the next video. Now I'm gonna finish it off with this right here. I'm not sure what I'm doing. This is supposed to be some sort of Navi looking thing, like, you know, with Link and the, uh, hey, listen. <laughs> Something like that. All right, let's go ahead and put some light shooting out of it in a skin tone color manner. And there we go. If you guys don't know what that pixie is that goes, hey, listen, you, again, you've been living under a rock, man. <laughs> All right, so there we go, guys. The ending of this video. And yes, my caricature is done. Hopefully you've learned something from these. Hopefully you go out and buy these markers. They're actually not that bad. I have made fun of them before because of the blending abilities, but I was actually given a tip of how to blend it. So it's not only me that learned this tip from, you know, learning it myself, I learned it from somebody else. So tricks of the trade, people. I want to teach you guys how to do it. And there you go, guys. You owe me $10 now. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, guys. So yeah, guys, hopefully you learned something from this video. And if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel as well. And as always, guys, thanks for your support. And I'll see you guys later. Oh, wait, I gotta sign my picture first. It's bad luck if you don't, guys. There we go.